They gotta be hot. Oh! Told you, you idiot. Yeah, right. <laughs> How are you going? Now, I have made a lot of very useful things in the past, like a banana guillotine, a tampon gun, and a book that throws cheese. But none of them have really ever caught on. And I want to be the guy that makes the one. The invention so incredibly useful and essential that as soon as I make it, it will change the structure of society. And I'll be able to live off royalties for the rest of my life. Kind of like the guy that made the shaker weight or egg roll. And I had been looking for a while and I almost pulled out a patent on my brand new socks for shoes. But then, while scrolling through Reddit at 3am, garlic bread in hand, I stumbled upon this meme. And I don't know if it was the gluten in my brain or because it was past my bread time, but I was in love. They are exactly what everyone needs in their lives. I immediately tried to purchase a pair, but was harshly let down when I found out they were a crummy fake. So I decided it was the yeast that I could do to make some for the world. All right, I'm gonna stop talking before these bread puns get stale. And I reckon a good place to start would be following already existing tutorials on how to make bread for your hands. But when I searched them all up, all I found were extremely wholesome videos of grandmas and grandpas showing you how to make bread by hand. Except this woman, who shows you how to make bread by feet. But I don't think my family will appreciate me using feet to make bread, especially not after the last incident. But then, I thought of the perfect people to ask for bread making advice. Australia's most beloved bread makers, Domino's. Thank you for running Domino's Hi there, man. Um, I'm ringing up with a bit of a strange request, but I wanted to know if you would be able to give me some um, bread making advice because you guys make a lot of bread. Sorry? Would you be able to give me some bread making advice? Yeah, like what? Um, well, because I'm making a pair of gloves, but I'm making them out of bread. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make them kind of expand so I could fit my hand inside. So I wanted to know if you guys would be able to give me any advice on how I could do this. English gloves? Yeah. So you can... Oh, you need, you need a pan for gloves, like a... A pan? Yeah, like a... A pan designed in the shape of gloves so you can stick dough in it. Ah. Do you know what ratio of water to flour? So for 10 kgs of this we use 5.4 litre water. Yep. 10 kgs of uh, normal premix. Okay. And, uh, okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. And he was a bye. lovely man. I wasn't expecting to actually get advice. I was kind of just doing it for shits. But... He said I should use a hand-shaped pan, which I don't have, so I'm going to ignore that, and just follow their not-so-secret bread ratio. So, here we go. 500 grams of flour to 250 mils of water to get a nice tough dough. Then, I'm just adding in millions of fungus called yeast. And if you don't have any yeast, you can just scrape the gunk out of the bottom of your sink, or you can just go pick some. So then, I'm also adding in a four-leaf clover for good luck. So then, knead it all together. Once you have finished your cliched kneading montage, just leave it for 30 minutes to rise. And then I'm going to shape it into some hands. Now, just turn on the oven and place in a sacrificial piece of bread to appease the YouTube algorithm. And after five minutes, check on the sacrifice. If it is still there, chuck in a 50 and wait for another five minutes. Then check again. If it's still there, chuck in another 50 and wait some more. And you know what makes this joke even funnier? Because Australian money is fireproof, waterproof, and wrinkle-proof. 
Fuck your American money. So once your bribe has been accepted by the YouTube gods, place in your hands, your bread hands, and then leave it for an hour. So let's take it out. I'm just going to grab some gloves to grab my gloves. And I'm just going to hollow them out and then try them on. Yeah, I'm going to try them on. they got to be hot. No, they're not going to be that hot. Oh, no, they won't. They won't. They don't worry. Oh! Told you, you idiot. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I let them cool down before trying them on again. And they did not rise enough for my fat hands to fit inside. So let's try again. So round two this time with more yeast, a little more clovers and a support underneath to help them form a shape of a hand. And this time they look great, but again, my fat hands do not fit inside. So they don't work. I don't know why I didn't think that would be very, very hot. All right, attempt three. All right, attempt four. And these ones look wide enough, so let's just hollow them out. And yes, some of you have probably noticed I'm wearing a different shirt, and you're probably gonna comment that I'm lazy for not having continuity. But, do you know why I'm wearing a different shirt? Do you? Do you know what I've been doing for the last fucking three weeks? Making fucking bread gloves, all right? I am all out of black shirts, fucking been through my entire closet, all right? I haven't shaved, and I smell like shit. I never wanna to touch bread again. I thought this would be an easy and Quick to do video that was funny, but it's a waste of fucking time. Fuck bread, fuck yeast. Bread gloves. With bread gloves, the world is your sandwich. Let's hear from two satisfied users. They're so great. I use them for almost every meal. There is minimal mess, no cleanup, and best of all, they keep your hands warm. Before I had bread gloves, I always struggled with my sandwiches for school and could never get a proper grip. Now all my friends are so impressed with me during lunchtime. Yeah, no. That was the biggest waste of time. I am sorry for making you watch that video and I'm sorry for wasting three weeks of my life. But yeah, if you feel like wasting some more time, make sure to subscribe and check out my other stuff.